Finally tonight, we can't say we're completely surprised. We'd heard he was coming to town. And sure enough, Steve Hartman ran into him on the road. Every year, about this time of year, the man in the red coat walks into shelters and food pantries, thrift stores and storerooms. Hey, what's going on back here? Generating excitement, <laughs> as only a man in a red coat can. All right, Merry Christmas. I've heard about him. Never thought I'd ever see. For those of you who haven't heard of him, it's a blessing. Or seen what he does. Thank you. God. I'll tell you what little I know about this anonymous secret Santa. That's for you, honey. He's a wealthy businessman from Kansas City who goes around to different towns across America. Here you are, sweetie. In this case, Albany, Georgia, and gives away more than a hundred thousand dollars worth of hundred dollar bills. There you go. Yes, real ones. These are brand new one hundred dollar bills, and this is to make your Christmas just a little bit brighter. Can you do that? Never gets old. <laughs> I look forward to it every Christmas. I get enthused about it. Thank you. First thing this mother and daughter did with their money was buy some cottonelle. <laughs> Apparently, receiving a random act of kindness can be pretty overwhelming. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's a lot of money for a lot of these folks. Are you for real? I am. Even $10 is a lot, which is what he gave the kids at the local Secret Boys and Santa Girls Club. And you can do with it whatever you want. Merry Christmas. <laughs> You don't get this kind of reaction from play dough. Would a hundred dollars help you? And you certainly don't get this kind of feedback from a fruitcake. It's amazing, really. Give a random stranger a hundred dollar bill, and they start hugging random strangers. Still, not all the excitement is because of the money. No, it's not the money. It's, it's, it's not the money. Take this hundred dollars. Lily Thomas says around the holidays, a lot of gifts are given out of obligation. You're welcome. So when a total stranger comes up and hands you $100 just to be nice, it makes you believe again. He's real. <laughs> Santa is real. <laughs> Thank you so much. My hope is that by doing this, millions of people see it and millions of people act on it. You don't have to have any money. It can be a kind word, a good deed, anybody can be a secret Santa. So try it out. You've got nothing to lose, except your personal space. Wow. <laughs> Steve Hartman. I didn't even do anything. On the road okay. in Albany, Georgia. Okay. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley. I'll see you Sunday on 60 Minutes. Good night.